Hello, today we're just going to have a brief overview of the rotator cuff muscles within the shoulder. So there are four rotator cuff muscles, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis. And they work together to stabilize the shoulder joint. Now the shoulder is a ball and socket joint which allows for a wide range of motion, but it does make it unstable. Now the rotator cuff muscles hold the head of the humerus, which is the ball, firmly within the shallow socket of the scapula, so the glenoid cavity, preventing dislocations and maintaining joint integrity during movement. Now, how do you remember the names of the rotator cuffs? So you can use the SITS acronym, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis. So this SITS acronym helps you remember the names of the rotator cuff muscles. Now, how do we remember where they insert onto the humerus? Now, if we use the SITS acronym, and that is the order of the rotator cuffs. So supraspinatus inserts on the greater tubercle. So remember SIT and think of the lift on a big or greater surface. So supraspinatus attaches to the greater tubercle and it will lift the arm, so it abducts the arm. Now infraspinatus inserts onto the greater tubercle as well. So think of I for infraspinatus, which is involved in rotating out on the greater side. Now infraspinatus and teres minor sit together and they work together, so they're like friends, so they do everything the same. Now teres minor also inserts onto the greater tubercle. I think about it as a tiny muscle, but it still needs the greater tubercle. And subscapularis inserts onto the lesser tubercle. So think of S for subscapularis and smaller or lesser tubercle. So now we know the names of the rotator cuff muscles. Um, so we would use the acronym SITS. And then we know where they attach to on the top of the humerus. So either the greater tubercle or the lesser tubercle. Now let's think about movements of the rotator cuff muscle. So we'll start with supraspinatus, which attaches to the greater tubercle. You think of S for start the lift. So it helps start lifting the arm away from the body, so abduction. Then think about infraspinatus. I for outward, helps rotate your arm outward, so external rotation. As I said before, infraspinatus and teres minor sit together next to one another on the greater tubercle, and they like to do things the same. So teres minor, T for tiny, a smaller muscle that also helps turn your arm outwards, so it also performs external rotation. And subscapularis, S for swing in, so it helps swing your arm inwards, so internal rotation.